Now question number four, five is asking us, in fact, six is asking us to repeat question number four for expensive price diamonds. In fact, repeat question number five for expensive price diamonds. So you can interpret in the same way as we have done already. The entire interpretation of the measures that we get in this output for cheaper price diamonds in the same way you can inter perform interpretations for expensive diamonds. Now moving to the next part, we are asked for describing the weight behavior of all heavy, light and heavyweight diamond rings. So this time we are asked to discuss weight behavior of all light and heavyweight diamonds. So light and heavy weight diamonds are included in weight code variable. So again, we change our variables. Analyze, descriptive, explore. We first, we are going to reset this. We select weight as a dependent list variable and weight code as a factor list variable. And then we paste. And this is how we get the output for this part. <clears throat> now again, if we compare mean versus 5% remain the same way as we have compared already. So we can see, we can take notice of this thing that no significant increase or change we have observed in the 5% remain as compared to mean. 95% CI can be interpreted in the same way that then we can be 95% confident that the mean weight of all light weighted diamonds lies between 0 0.1590 carat and 0.1699 carat. As far as mean versus median is concerned, so mean and median. Median is again higher, mean has a lower value, therefore it again indicates the negatively skewed behavior of lightweight diamond and this is we can match or compare with the sign of skewness measure so coefficient of skewness has a negative sign but this is a relatively smaller in terms of its value if we compare it with the previous finding for light for cheaper diamonds so you can see minus 2.43 over here the value is very high in absolute terms but this value is closer to zero right really. so the skewness is negative again because that's negative sign and the measure of skewness has a red has a value relatively closer to zero but it is still negatively skewed. We can say that it is moderately negatively skewed. So this is how and then kurtosis is again a positive sign with kurtosis is appearing over here. So 1.917 it indicates that the kurtosis of the data indicates that the data are leptokurtic. Okay. And now if you go to Part 8. Now we are, I would like to change it. Price of light weighted, yes, light weighted diamond. We are asked, asked to compare with the heavier ones. So we are now comparing two different categories with each other. As far as quantitative is concerned, it is price we need to take. And as far as qualitative category is concerned, we need to take this time light weighted and heavy albums that are the part of weight code. So analyze descriptive statistics, explore, reset this, price behavior on the basis of weight code. Paste and run selection. So 
this is how we get the output now this is quite logical to compare because weight categories or price can be co can be compared or should be compared on the basis of weight category so first we are asked for graph graphical comparison of the two categories that we have created for the data so a question number 8 is asking us to compare it graphically and whenever we are asked to compare graphically the two categories or qualitative categories of the data for any quantitative variable so we need to go for box plot box plot is a diagrammatic representation that is based upon five number summary and that five number summary is minimum which is over here this line is indicating minimum of the box plot this is indicating lower quartile that contains least 25 percent part of the data this solid line inside the box is representing median this is representing the upper quartile or contains 75 percent of the data till this border line and this is the line for the maximum so box plot is based upon five number summary if you look at and compare the two categories for their price behavior so we need to compare three things first of all the locations the relative locations of these two boxes this is for lightweight diamonds this is for heavyweight diamond these are the prices that are observed on the vertical axis so we can easily see easily differentiate the location is on the lower part as far as lightweight diamonds or the price of lightweight diamonds are concerned whereas the location of this box is at a higher position so it is in fact supporting the argument that lightweight diamonds are in majority located as low price and heavyweight diamonds are at the higher price this is what we expect the second thing that we need to consider whenever we are going for comparing comparing box plot their relative variability variability is the range that we call interquartile range that starts as q1 and ends at q3 first and third quarter respectively these two are so the range of q3 and q1 q3 minus q1 we call the iqr or interquartile range so interquartile range for heavy price diamond is higher or greater as compared to the lightweight diamond because this box is very compressed third thing that we need to compare whenever we are going for the comparison of box plot categories so we need to in fact compare or in fact locate the outliers if there are any in these two categories so there are two kinds of geographical notations uh, sorry geometric notations you can observe that is circle and the steric mark so there are two things circles are the outliers or the observations that lies between q1 minus 1.5 times iqr and q3 plus 1.5 times iqr also q1 minus 3 times iqr and q1 plus 3 times iqr gives us another span within which we observe the outlier so if an outlier or an observation lies outside the three quart interquartile range criterion over here these outliers are indicated with the steric mark are actually the outlier that affect the measure of center tendency especially mean so there are two, one, two, three, four steric marks that are indicating that these are the outliers that are falling outside the 
three interquartile range criteria, whereas circles are located or are the outliers that are located between the 1.5 times and 3 times IQR range. So these outliers are tolerable that are indicated as a circle. These are tolerable. But steric marks are indicating really the extreme value that can be classified or categorized as outlier. So this is how we indicate or we perform comparative analysis. If we talk about question number 9, we are asked to compare these two categories of weight for the price analytically. When we see analytically, then we are, uh, we are supposed to compare the results on the base of these tables. And over here, we have to compare mean value of this category with mean value of this category. Then the skewness of this category with the skewness of this category, 95% CI for this category and 95% CI for this category. And over here you can see that 95% confidence interval value for the mean for lightweight diamonds ends at starts at 331.365 and ends at 375.739. And this is a starting at 645 ending at 802. So there is a gap between the upper bound value 342 and lower bound value of 645 of light and heavyweight categories respectively. It indicates that the two confidence travel limits are located entirely at two different positions on the scale. Therefore, we can say or can be concluded that the two categories of weight has entirely different range of prices within which it may exist and we can be 95% confident for these two ranges. It can be concluded that the mean price of lightweight diamonds is significantly less than that of the heavy price diamond. This is how we do it.